start out. Uh, let's go to um, Nathan Bear to start out. Nathan, go ahead. Hey, I actually had a question about one of your teammates. Uh, we've heard about Ty Hamilton these last couple of years, just a guy who flashes things in practice. What are you seeing from him this spring? And are there things he's doing at, at this age that are advanced for his position? Uh, all right, first, I want to say good afternoon to everybody. Uh, then second, uh, yeah, Ty Hamilton's doing pretty good as a, as a young buck growing up in this, uh, as a freshman. I seen him just locking out guys on the field, just just growing, you know, in the weight room. He's just pushing weight, just like his big brother, you know, that's in the league. So uh he got my respect right now as a young as a young uh D tackle right now. And I say he's doing pretty good, you know, just gotta keep working. All right, next <clears throat> let's go to uh Dave Biddle. Dave, go ahead. Hi, Antoine. Coming back for a sixth year, not a sixth year at Ohio State, but a sixth year in college overall. Was that a no-brainer for you, or um, did you have to put some thought into that decision? Um, of course, I had to put some thought into it after the national championship game. And uh, I mean, I know I could do more and, and just come back and just keep improving like I am right now. And just I just come back and just keep improving for myself and be here for my teammates. And of course, uh, win the national championship this time. Thank you. All righty, let's go next to Tony Gerdeman from Buckeye Scoop. Tony. Getting back to Ty Hamilton, you mentioned he looks like his brother in the weight room. How does he look like? How does he compare to Devon on the field? I mean, of course he he's not six uh, four like Devon, but uh, as like I said, like just getting off the ball and just uh, just pressing people out on the field. Uh, he just looked he looked just like him, but uh, of course he got to do some more growing up a little bit. And I feel like he's growing in the, in the springtime. He just got to put it all together right now. But I I say he's growing. Very big time right now. Bill? Bill Rubin, it was Columbus Dispatch. Go ahead. Antoine, just how grateful are you to have a sixth year? Oh, I'm very grateful. Uh everybody don't have this have this uh have a chance like this like in the past year. So just getting the extra year, just to improve, just to be here and of course to be a buckeye is a it's a big honor to, to have this, uh, just to have this chance, really. Thank you. All righty, next up, Patrick Murphy, 247. Antoine, we've heard a lot about uh, Teron Vincent this off season. What, what have you seen from him playing next to him, playing with him? Um, what, what has impressed you about him so far this spring? Uh, what has impressed me is just him being here. Uh, he didn't play last year, with, which was, Felt very bad because you know he had that surgery on his shoulder. So uh, just I'm just really happy playing with him right now because you know we didn't play with, with each other last year, and just us two, it will just be it'll just wreck the line of scrimmage. And I just like him right now. And uh, we I say we just like like we we just get off the ball and we just attack. And I just like how he attacked the offensive guards in practice. Like it's it's ridiculous. So I give him the utmost utmost respect. Um, what he'd be doing in practice. All right, it looks like we got uh, two more. Uh, we'll go to uh, Tim May first. Tim, go ahead. Yeah, Antoine, is it, is, it, is it a sense that you're about to play your best ball? I mean, how would you describe it to people? Because obviously you were a big time recruit, you know, going to Auburn and stepping back from that and then showing up at Ohio State and everybody thought you would be just this immediate, you know, force, et cetera. But do, do you just, like you just said a while ago about the six year, do you just feel like you're sort of now ready to blossom? How would you describe it to people? I still say it's a process like Coach Jay tell us, like uh, in his program and as a freshman, it takes two to three years to, you know, to get there, to reach your potential. So that's why I, I really trust Coach Jay and having this extra year just to keep improving yeah. is, is really a big blessing to me. And uh, I have a big off season coming up for myself and uh, just, been writing down things for myself to get done uh, when we have this break after spring ball. So uh, I say it's a big summer for me, really. It really starts right now in spring ball. Thanks, man. Thank All you. right, and last question for Antoine. We'll go to Dan Hope. Dan. Hey, Antoine, with Tommy being gone and, you know, you now being one of, you know, the most veteran guys on this entire team, how much do you view this as an opportunity for you to, you know, be a leader both on and off the field at that defensive tackle spot? Uh, I feel like 
Uh, it's really just the same because you know we all do the we all talk to each other after after practice. Just we all leaders really. We we all love each other. And so uh, with Tommy being gone, I feel like we're still gonna be the same unit. Just keep rising. Uh, after somebody leaves, the other person steps up. So I feel like that's that's what it all is right there. All righty, Antoine. Really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you, everybody.